we always want the best for ourselves because we love ourselves. And it can be hard to truly feel like that sometimes because society teaches you that if you're not doing this, then you're not doing enough. Or if you're not making this much money, then you're not good enough here. Or if you don't wake up at 5 a.m. every single day, then you can't possibly be successful and be rich. It's not true. None of it is true. You can really truly make the rules of your own reality because you are living in your own world. There is so much power in you deciding what rules work the best for you. I feel like the years 2020 to like 2022 were very deep, heavy, transformative years for a lot of us. There's been a huge collective awakening that's been happening. A lot has been revealed to us. A lot of us are discovering more of what we want out of life, more of what our divine purpose is outside of the programming of society and what other people have taught us we should want and think and believe. And I feel like more than anything, it's really showed us what is no longer serving us, what people, what thought patterns and habits, what institutions maybe like your job or maybe even school, what things are no longer serving you on your divine plan and your unique path to becoming, again, who it is that you feel you should actually be. And 2023, I think, is a year where we are finally putting those lessons into practice. How can you physically change your reality? What can you do on your in your day-to-day -day life to make your reality more aligned to the reality that you are dreaming of. That's what I think a lot of us are being tasked with. And we've done that, right? We've done a little bit of that work in the past few years, but I think 2023 is really the year that we stop making excuses. We stop sitting around and thinking about what it is that we don't want. And we really start focusing on what we do want. We really start focusing on what it is that is serving us, how we can attract abundance into our lives and what work we need to do in order to get there. And I really want to speak in this video specifically about some ways that you can do this, some ways that at least I am putting that into practice. And before we get too far into the video, I do want to say, I know it's a new year and I know there's a million and one videos out there right now about how to be productive and how to be your best self and how to take action right now. And maybe you don't feel that motivated or that inspired right this second. And that's totally okay. I know I didn't the day the new year came, but someone actually commented this on my channel and it was really helpful for me. And that was reminding me that we are not, we don't have to subscribe to what society is telling us. Just because it's a new year and just because the calendar marks a shift in our energies and a transition, yes, that is happening, but it, that doesn't mean that it's happening right away. We're still in the winter season. We're still in this season of rest, of hibernation, of going inward and really looking at ourselves and our homes, right? Being inside a lot more. And spring is a lot of times that season for us to blossom and to bloom and to put more things into action and start doing more things. I really encourage you to not look at what other people are telling you you should be doing and really following the guidance of your inner system. You know yourself better than anyone else. You know yourself better than I know you. So really truly trust yourself and trust your own divine timing as you're kind of keeping these things in mind because maybe you're feeling ready and motivated to implement discipline and structure and all that stuff and change right now, but maybe you're not. And that's okay either way. I know for me, I'm kind of like taking my time slowly but surely easing into this new reality, but it's not gonna be an automatic switch. It's just not how life works. So. Anyways, first thing I think it's really important to keep in mind this year is that discipline is self-love. This is something that I really struggled with and something that if y'all have been following me for a while, y'all know, as I entered into my soft girl feminine era, I was like, let's just chill, let's just vibe. I'm over society and the 3D. I don't wanna follow any of the rules and I just wanna go at my own pace. As I kind of fell deeper and deeper into that, I started to realize that there's actually a lot of power in having discipline. I think the key to this is doing things out of love instead of doing them out of shame. Whatever good habits you wanna start implementing, whatever bad habits you wanna get rid of, you're doing these things because you love yourself, not because you're in trouble, not because you're a bad person or you've been a bad person or you've been doing a bad job. We always want the best for ourselves because we love ourselves. And it can be hard to truly feel like that sometimes because society teaches you that if you're not doing this, then you're not doing enough. Or if you're not making this much money, then you're not good enough here. Or if you don't wake up at 5 a.m. every single day, then you can't possibly be successful and be rich. It's not true, none of it is true. You can really truly make the rules of your own reality because you are living in your own world. There is so much power in you deciding what rules work the best for you. So for example, if you're the kind of person who's on TikTok 
right before they go to sleep and you're recognizing that that is no longer serving you, it can be hard to let that go and it can feel like a lot of pressure that like, oh my gosh, it's 10 p.m. right now and I'm still scrolling through TikTok. What is wrong with me? And then you feel this shame and then you feel this guilt and then you're mad at yourself. When you're coming from that place of fear and anger of, oh no, I did something wrong so I need to change, it's not going to help you. But when you start shifting your perspective and realizing that, oh, I'm putting my phone away because I honor myself and I love myself and I wanna give my mind that time to settle down and to relax and to not have other people in my ear and in my subconscious mind before I fall asleep or right when I wake up even, when you start recognizing that you're doing these things to protect yourself in the same way you would protect a little girl or a little kid, who doesn't know any better when they go about doing things that are not healthy for them. When you start having that loving perspective for yourself, discipline and healthy habits become a lot easier because you realize you're doing these things out of love instead of out of shame. So as you're starting to plan and look at you know, what habits you wanna start implementing and what habits you wanna get rid of for this new year, I really encourage you to start looking at it from a healthy perspective. And when you find yourself getting into a negative cycle or a negative way of thinking about them, take a step back, go within and really ask yourself what it is that you truly want out of life. What Again, what do you want your reality to look like? Recognize that you deserve to have that reality, right? And these habits that you're gonna be implementing are for you to get closer to that reality that you already deserve. Also, I think it's really important to recognize that it's not going to be an overnight thing. As you start kind of trying to implement new things, new habits, you are not going to be an overnight success. Manifesting whatever it is that you want out of life, whether that be just more money, you quitting your job, you traveling somewhere, any of the, any whatever it is that you want, it's a journey. And I talk about this a lot on my channel, but oftentimes we get so focused on the outcome, the results that we want, that end goal, that we take ourselves out of the present and we stop enjoying the journey. But in reality, the whole point of this life is to enjoy the journey of getting anywhere that you wanna get. So you are not going to be an overnight success with anything that you are trying to implement because that's not the point. It wouldn't be fun if you were. It wouldn't be fun if you woke up tomorrow and you had nothing that you needed to change, nothing that you needed to improve and you were just, life was perfect. It would not be fun anymore. There would be no point in living because you've had it all and there's nothing else to learn. So even thinking about like a healing journey and trying to be your best self spiritually, mentally, that is not going to ever have an end goal. You're constantly evolving. We're constantly growing spiritually. So stop focusing so much on an end goal. Yes, have goals. Don't get me wrong. Have goals. Have things that you're working towards. But don't focus so much on the end result. I say it all the time. Focus on the journey and do not obsess over being an overnight success and do not obsess over being perfect right away because you're going to get frustrated with yourself. You're going to burn yourself out and you're going to be a month into the new year and you're going to feel like giving up. And that's not the way that you want to approach your goals. I really encourage you this year, focus on making small changes, doing small things, small adjustments to your habits and to your routines until you start to feel more in flow with everything. I'm reading this book right now called Atomic Habits. Highly, highly recommend it. And he basically talks about this, you know, when you're, whenever you're trying to make any kind of change in your life, it's not really about making this one big grand gesture. And suddenly again, your life is just completely different when you wake up the next day. It's really about making small changes every single day. And as you make more and more small changes, as you adjust maybe your morning routine a little bit every single day, the small things that you start doing become more automatic. And that's when you start to add more changes in your life. It's not just about becoming, again, an overnight success, suddenly, you know, posting one time on YouTube and hoping that your channel is just going to pop off, right? That is an amazing, an amazing hope and dream to have, but it's not just about that, right? It's about figuring out how you can build a system so that you can be consistent and so you can build on it more and more instead of trying to focus, again, on this overnight change. So I really encourage you, if you haven't already, start taking an inventory of your habits and your current systems and start figuring out what little adjustments you can make to again further shift into the reality that you want to align to and so i think the winter is the perfect time to do this i did this a lot in december and i feel like i'm still doing this quite a bit right now where i'm really just sitting with myself spending a lot of time alone to be honest and really just asking myself what it is that i want 
in this next year. Again, what it, what do I need to walk away from? What is no longer serving me? But also, what do I need to start doing to embody who it is that I want to be and also who do I want to be? A lot of times I feel like we think that we need to have everything figured out, all of our goals, all of our plans for the next year as soon as the new year comes. But you may find as you sit with yourself a little bit more, again, go into meditation, journal, pray, do whatever works best for you. You may start to feel yourself being called to different things that you weren't normally called to before. So really pay attention, really listen to, again, your inner guidance system. Pay attention to what's going on in your daily life, what synchronicities you're noticing. And again, you may start to find that there's a path for you that you feel really called to. Once you start doing that more and more, you may start to find yourself being called to write this down, to take notes, to maybe make a vision board. A vision board is a really great way to kind of put that visualization into like the actual 3D material world. And then from there, I really just like to plan out everything. I break down my goals through like yearly, monthly, weekly, and then even daily to do. So I timeline my entire year, I break it down into quarters, and then I really just list out in each quarter what are the major things happening and placing your goals in that timeline. So you maybe have a goal of starting a YouTube channel and that's awesome, but don't just say that you have a goal of starting a YouTube channel in 2023. Have that in your timeline. Know that you wanna start your YouTube channel by March of 2023. I just think having a timeline is a really good way to shift your goals from these like ambiguous things in this list to an actual timeline that you can build an action plan around and then you can kind of shrink things down to your monthly goals i like to get really specific with these things so i have like my work goals but i also have like my spiritual and my body goals how much time do i want to dedicate to learning a certain topic every single month what are those topics how am i going to do that and then also how am i going to break that down week by week and then you can also break that down day by day i think it's just really important as you're doing this to focus on systems and not just goals so as you're planning out your month what can you do week to week and also day to day to further align yourself to who it is that you want to be don't focus again so much on that end goal and focus more on aligning your current self to your future dream self so for example for me one of my major goals for 2023 is learning more about investing and real estate investing specifically. I wanna build more passive income. I wanna build my wealth. And I just really wanna learn more about how to do that. So I'm really trying to make a plan of like, okay, how can I do that day to day? Like at least for like 30 minutes to an hour in the morning. And one platform that I've been using to do this is called Arrived. And I wanna plug them really quickly because they are the sponsor of today's video. Shout out to them. Arrived, if you guys have never heard of them, is a real estate crowdfunding platform that actually makes it really easy to get into real estate investing with as little as $100. So you go on the platform and they actually have properties that they have hand selected and done a lot of research on that you yourself can invest in with other people and start making returns on. And obviously, real estate is one of those things that takes a while to kind of get into to if you are interested in buying your own home or investing in it. But Arrived is amazing because it makes it very accessible to invest in real estate. And just to learn more about the industry, they actually have a whole section on their website where you can learn more about real estate, real estate investing, and learn more about how to kind of make more money off of their website. I'm gonna leave my link to them down below if you guys wanna check them out. I just wanna shout them out because I just think it's an amazing new platform that I've kind of been getting into. And I know that a lot of us have goals of building passive income and again, growing our wealth in 2023. So I think Arrive is an amazing way to do that. And yeah, shout out to them again for sponsoring today's video. Again, I know that 2023, there is so much for us to accomplish and to do, but I just really encourage you to again, first look within, honor yourself, spend these next few weeks, these next few months, this season, or spend whatever time you need, honestly, to really go within and make sure that you know what it is that you wanna be doing. Don't focus so much on what other people are doing. Don't focus on what society is telling you. Listen to yourself, listen to your spirit, and really take that time to go inward so you know where it is that you're being guided to go in 2023. So hopefully this was helpful, you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing well and having an amazing start to your new year. Let me know in the comments down below what are you really focus on in this current season um, to better yourself and to, again, further align your reality to where it is that you want to be. And I will see you guys in the next one.